Hi, this is Greg Doyle. Thanks for coming here to read about the Greenfield Gym. You know, here in Indiana, high school basketball is the thing, and so players are stars, um, coaches are stars, and even gymnasiums can be stars. And we've got some cool ones around here. The Newcastle Fieldhouse is the biggest one in America. The Wigwam in Anderson. Um, Duggar has that pit, but I'm telling you the weirdest, and I say that lovingly, but the weirdest gym this state's ever seen is the one you're reading about right now, the one at Greenfield. It wasn't 94 feet long, so they had two midcourt stripes. It wasn't wide enough, so players literally, think about this, threw inbounds passes as they stood on the bleachers. Um, it's a crazy gym, and now it's closed, and now it's a parking garage. And I found that out by going, I'm doing a story on Mike Edwards. That's why I, I'm here to write about Mike Edwards, the Greenfield Gunner. And I decided I'm gonna go to his old high school and just see where he walked around. I, I go to his old high school and a guy in the street says, see that over there, that's the gym where he played. I'm like, no, that's not, that's not a, I don't know what that is, but that's not, it's a dog house, it's not big enough. It turns out it is a gym. Um, so the story of the gym, the story of Mike Edwards, the story of the senior citizens living there now, it's all convoluted and crazy. And I appreciate you being here. And, uh, the story will probably make more sense than I am right now, but I talk fast.